bunch of effects that we can do down the bottom, and we have send effects for the instrument. So if we wanted to have delay, we could send to have a send effect a delay. Bingo. Contemporary techniques in film scoring, which you guys saw earlier today. That class is really about what's happened in the last 20 years in terms of how the grammar and the syntax and the vocabulary of film music communication has greatly changed. We are moving step by step. Although people that never go to film scoring or they never know things about film scoring, like I didn't know much before I come to Berkeley and study film scoring, it, nothing to be afraid of, you know. Uh, the film scoring program is just very varied. It's just a lot of classes, uh, different subjects that come together into making uh, the film scoring students a uh, very uh, versatile and agile uh, professional in the industry. When you're a thief, what do you have to do? What do thieves do? They do steal, but what do they, what do, they do? They sneak around. They're sneaky. Right? Sheldon just took us through the, his regular process of analyzing a scene first and realizing exactly the emotions we were supposed to bring through the music. One of the great things that's happened to our industry is that we have all of these unbelievable tools for music making. One of the tools we use is Contact. Contact is actually like a little piece of magic. What you can do in Contact is you can take any recorded sound and you can turn it into an instrument. It's filmmaking. The odd thing about it is that we teach it at a music school. Once you, you learn how to, to use the software, you have it for life. Film is the more important than the music. Music is just there to support the film. It really makes you think about stuff that, that you maybe know that you need to think about, but you don't really get how important they are to the final product or the final outcome and how your music sounds.